Welcome back. And if you're just tuning in, this is Entertainment News on Channels Television. Where else would you rather be? You are at the right place. Now, the metaphysical and philosophical interpretation of the birth, life and death of M.K. Abiola comes alive in this new state drama titled Kashmawo, produced by the Duke of Shomolu, based on the story of the late M.K. Abiola, who was loved and credited by many as the father of democracy in Nigeria. Details of the Lagos debut of the drama in this next feature. Check it out. The play Kashi Mawos kicks off to a packed auditorium in Lagos. The opening is captivating as it starts off at the gates of heaven, where the Onibode reads from a scroll. Arabs! Madam Margaret! Ibrahim Alawa! 12th August 1927. The judgment for the dead as they pass through the gates. A person wrapped in white clothing representing the late Moshud Kashimawa Abiola is standing at the entrance of the gate as Iku pleads for his soul. Iku has accused Olodunare for the unjust retrieval of this soul from the surface of the earth. I play the character Onibode in the play Kashimawa. Uh, well, the, the character I play here is one of the a uh, newest thing I have uh, done in the theater. Not as if I, it's not like I haven't done something like that before, but this Onibode took me to another level of performance entirely. Because, uh, you know, there's, there's what we call method acting in, in theater. When you have to sink yourself into that character, you will lose your own self and gain that particular character. And that, that's what actually helped me to deliver. And you know, if you, if you can remember one of his lines, he said, he said that my, my assignment is short, simple and straightforward. Yeah, I said, I receive your soul the day you die. That's what he does. <laughs> so he's, 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 he's so proud of that, uh, that duty of being the gatekeeper of heaven that he receives souls, he takes them in and he announces where they are going, either you are going to a good place or bad place, as we all, as we believe. The character Iku is so symbolic because, you know, normally death doesn't have to question his emotions or his mortality, why he carries out certain instructions from God. But if we can bring it to our African traditional context or Rumila, but at this instance, Iku was questioning his own mortality through Onibode, which is the gatekeeper that he shouldn't allow MK Wabiola to go into that gate. He should give him a chance because of the life MK O lived. And it is, uh, should I say, it is. Will I use the word um, unimaginable for you seeing Iku pleading? Historians will recall that Chief Moshud Kashimawo Olawale Abiola GCFR, also known as MKO Abiola, was a Nigerian businessman, publisher, and politician. He was the honorary supreme military commander of the Oyo Empire and an aristocrat of the Egba clan. <laughs> In 1993, Abiola ran for the presidency, for which the election results were annulled by the then military president Ibrahim Babangida because of allegations that they were corrupt and unfair. He was also posthumously awarded the National Honor Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, an honor awarded to only Nigerian heads of state. On 6th of June 2018, by President Muhammadu Buhari, and Nigeria's Democracy Day was changed from 29th of May to 12th of June in his honor. Abiola's support in the June 1993 presidential election cut across all geopolitical zones and religious divisions among a few politicians to accomplish such a spread during his time. By the time of his death, he had become an unexpected symbol of democracy. Uh, I played uh, Kashimawu in the play uh, Kashimawu, and uh, I think I am happy uh, that uh, I was considered for that role. Uh, um, it's, it's a bit challenging uh, because it is not just an ordinary role. Uh, yes, uh, acting is about impersonation. You need to, you know, wear the character of another person, but this 
has its own uh, peculiarity, and that is, it's not just talking straight. You need to, you know, imitate somebody that, that is special. One, then you are looking at the figure, you know, that um, uh, we are considering here, and one knows that he has a lot of job to do, you know, getting across to, to, to the audience. Uh, that means um, you really need to consider the issue of research, you know, seriously. According to the producer of the play, Duke of Shomolu, this day marks the 21st dramatization of the play. He says the major reason why it's important for the story to be told to the younger generation is to preserve history. This one is on Chibemko Abiola because we see him as the main person who did this, made sacrifice for our democracy. Yeah, so that, that in a very recent past, we had leaders who took decisions based on integrity. Yeah, because he could have negotiated himself out of this problem, you know, but he stood, he stood his ground, you know, and, 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 and lost his life in the process. So basically, the lesson here is for our young ones to know that, you know, you can be immortalized, you get it, by standing, you stand by your principles, you get it. On seeing the plays, viewers had so much to say about the nostalgic experience. I was just recalling who Abiola was. In fact, it was really thrilling. And uh, it's, it's a thing, an event we, we need to bring the young ones, our children, to come and witness. Because a lot of them, they hear the name Abiola, but they don't know what Abiola stood for. This presentation was brilliant. It was excellent. The delivery, the concept, from concept to delivery and interpretation was excellent. I was wowed. Kashima will continue to show in Lagos theatres for lovers of dramatic expressions.